something a little bit unique and go live on a job site that's been fully installed. So we're doing some finishing touches up out at this project here in Marietta. It is a beautiful day. Um, gotta love spring. It's a hit or miss in both situations, but I wanted to go over certain aspects that are involved when it comes to the solar installation that I think sometimes tends to get overlooked. That's the mounting of the system and the conduit run. A lot of companies are taking the fastest route and the shortest one to install the solar system. Um, and then the mounting methods that a lot of them are using is extremely cheap, um, which ultimately results in roof leaks. And that's something you just don't want to experience. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna flip my camera around. And so we have this array over here. This project has three arrays in total. These are the REC Alpha Pure Black 400 watt modules. These are phenomenal. As you can tell, they're all black and we have railing to match. We use Pegasus Solar and Iron Ridge. So what's really nice about Pegasus is it's a tile replacement product. So we actually replace the entire tile with one designed for the solar mounts. Now under each panel is a microinverter. Now what's really cool with the Pegasus is this channeling allows us to do some wire management at the same time. So there's no zip ties or anything like that. And I can show you right here, you can see there's some PV wire going across in that, you know, so really cool way of going about it. Now on this particular project, we have our conduit. Now we hide it. This is something we really do really well. So you have it coming out from a junction box under the array. And then look, we're, we're on the back side of this ridge because this is the front of the house. So we want to make sure that it's not visible. You know, there's going to be a little bit and we got to connect the arrays together. So we follow this little conduit run, you know, it's nice, low profile, fully painted, and it's going to go and connect to this array. So there you go. You're going under that really clean, you know, so this is just the one little strip that you're seeing. And then we have to connect it to the third array which we have over here on this side. So, and there you go. So we're going under just like that. You know, you have this one little stretch and honestly, from, from the ground, you actually can't see it because of how this section is divided up. Again, these are the REC Alpha Pure Black modules and we've paired them with Enphase's latest eighth generation microinverter. So these are using the IQ8M. This system is cranking. Um, so the IQ8M is rated for, I want to say 325 watts continuous with a peak of like 330 or 336. Um, it's hard to say right off, but these are 400 watt modules, um, STC, and these are the REC. So they come with a 25 year manufacturer warranty, um, a 25 year performance warranty with 92% um, performance at over 25 years. So you'll, you're only losing 8% power. And then you also get an umbrella labor warranty. We of course include a 25 year warranty for the installation of our systems, but these, this manufacturer provides an extra labor warranty. So they reimburse us if there was ever any issues with their modules. REC has been around for over 25 years. Enphase, as many of you know, has been just growing and developing you know, more and more products over the last 10 years, 10, 15 years. So I want to go down below. So we have a good idea of the solar system, right? Those are your three arrays, really clean conduit run. You can see barely right there. That's where we're penetrating into the garage. So we're going to go down the ladder and we're going to go um, check out the garage. So I got to climb down. Ugh. Going down the ladder. So I am keeping three points of contact at all times down the ladder. So, all right, so we're gonna come over here. I wanna show you the front of the house. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, I, I didn't quite get your message on that. How do we insulate? Um, I mean, we are waterproofing. So this is the front you can, pretty much see. Like I said, you can't see that condo that I was talking about. See, I'm gonna keep walking. So look at that, it, you barely, if you really zoom in, you can kind of see it. 
you know, and then there's that one little strip that was going across. So there you go. Now, when it comes to solar, a lot of the code requires that you install these ridiculous stickers. I mean, I know they're safety, but you know, this is something my customers always are like, oh man, all these stickers, why do I gotta have all these stickers? Huh? You know, cause people in the United States think solar is like extremely dangerous. For end phase, it's all AC. So it's no different than all the electrical in your house. So right now, this is what is here. You have the AC disconnect for first responders. They can shut that off. Now there's no AC voltage up on the roof in any of that conduit. There's no AC voltage right here. So if they get up there, it's completely safe. Uh, this is rapid shutdown. Um, I think almost half the states in the U.S. have adopted that. You got your placard, so you get a good idea of where the modules are. Again, telling you how many amps and volts the system is rated for. So, oh, the, when we're doing the roof penetrations, um, it's a lag bolt that goes through into the truss, and it's dipped in roofing mastic. So that goes down, it creates a watertight seal. Um, it, we, we don't use, a lot of companies are using M1 or Chemlink, uh, an all-purpose sealant. It's not roofing. It's not intended for that. So um, if you see that on a set of plans that you have from a solar company, you need to call it out because that is not a proper sealant for the roof. It's not a roofing sealant. And there's rubber sealants that are intended for the roof. Really, really important. So let's look at some of the equipment in the garage. This is it. This is your end phase combiner. So we have this is a required placard. This is one that we make ourselves. This one's important because it gives us information. When we send out a tech, we know without looking at and pulling a project file, what is out here. So we know the AC system size, that's gonna basically tell us the amount of microinverters, the amps again, you know, and how many microinverters per 20 amp string. So there's enough modules here. This is, a, this is an 11 kilowatt AC system. And then we have three 20 amp breakers for each um, for each string of 11 panels. So, and then the 15 amp is wired up for the Envoy for module level monitoring. So it's really cool um, in that sense. And that's it. I mean, that's, as you can see, the conduit's coming down. We keep it nice and tucked. And again, that was coming in from the roof and comes down. And this is your one little box right there. You know, this person has a sub panel. We did install an EV outlet for them. So this was something cool. So now they have level two EV charging. Uh, this is something we definitely have been including in a lot of our projects. It's really inexpensive for us to do during your solar installation. We can keep it really close to the main service panel and it just looks nice, you know, and now you're ready for when you want to buy that electric vehicle. So if you took this system, so she has the IQ8. Now, if you took this system and you wanted to add battery backups, you don't need to have um, a reserve for the batteries. Now, there's a pre-built-in reserve. So you can use 100% of the batteries. And then I think like 5% is automatically just through software set aside to um, make the batteries last even longer. Uh, the combiner box that we use is the IQ4. So it's the latest generation. It's the one intended for the IQ8 microinverters. You can use the 3-ES. That one's totally acceptable if you end up with one of those. That is perfectly well being used on other Enphase systems. So you don't have to use that particularly. But that's kind of a nice, simple walkthrough. I do want to show you something really cool that you don't typically get to see. So I'm going to flip it back around. So this is when you're looking under the array. That's our penetration. But you see that clean conduit line? We ran it under the array. So that way it stays hidden. This is stuff other companies skip out on. You'd be surprised looking in your neighborhood and seeing the jankiest runs of conduit. And it's because this adds up. This takes time. It takes skill. It's one of those things that companies, when you're going with the cheapest guy, this is where they take the shortcut. They don't care how it looks on your house. All they care about is how fast can they install it and that's, how, and that's it, you know? So if you don't like it, well, too bad because that's how they're gonna do it, you know? So you don't want always the cheapest guy when you're going solar because you're gonna end up with some pretty 
unique conduit runs. And trust me, I have seen some really crazy conduit runs. Um, so that's definitely something you want to be looking out for when you're doing your installation. Now, there was no way for us not to have that little bit of conduit on this main service panel. So with this particular system, she is ready for backup. She has the IQ8s. She just needs an IQ system controller too. Um, she could do a battery or she could integrate a generator. And then what would happen is since these are IQ8s, we're gonna have sunlight backup, backup capabilities. And then at night, the generator would turn on automatically through Enphase's software and power the home during that power outage. Um, the new IQ system controller too, can support up to 80 amps of generator. That's around a 15 kilowatt generator. It's pretty substantial for a standby generator. Keep that in mind, it's only standby generator. So if you have a portable generator, Enphase at this time does not support portable generators. Now, there's a lot of things coming out in the electric vehicle market. We're seeing more and more EVs, including backup capabilities. Now, that's important because Enphase is working towards something like that. This is a company that has developed and continues to develop their product further and further to be as future-proof as it can. I can't say the same for other manufacturers. I don't feel some of the other battery backup solutions out there are really paying as much attention towards what is going on in other markets, like the electrical vehicle market. So Enphase recently bought Clipper. Clipper is an EV charging manufacturer that literally manufactures EV chargers here in California. I think it's up in LA. So they bought this company for a couple million dollars and they're working towards integrating those chargers into their Enphase systems and further developing it so that way it's bi-directional backup. So you could use your Ford Lightning to back up your home. You don't need Enphase batteries at that time. Again, this is in the roadmaps. This is something that they've released out to their investors portfolio. So if you're invested in Enphase, they do have an investor like PDF. If you go on their site, it breaks down a lot of stuff, what they're working towards, what their plans are, really valuable information. But acquiring Clipper was a big move for them because it's going to give them the ability for you to have one-stop shop app control. So let's say you had a system like this with solar, and then you had batteries. Well, currently, if you had a backup system, you got to tell the car when you want it to charge, and when you got to tell your batteries when you don't want them to discharge, because you don't want to discharge the batteries into your EV. That's kind of a waste. You know, the EV's got a much bigger battery bank. So what, what Enphase's goal is to ultimately have is a battery system that stops or only provides power to the home. And then when you have plug in your EV, the EV charges from the credits that you've earned throughout the day for your solar system. So this is some really cool stuff that is coming out over the course of the next five years. You know, expect a lot of big things from Enphase. When you buy a system from Enphase, and you get a system installed by us, you are getting much more than just a solar system. You are getting a product that is future-proof. You really are. It's not like anything else on the market. So, there, there's a lot of going on over at Enphase. Um, right now, they have the, um, you know, the IQ3 batteries and the IQ10 batteries. Um, they have a lot of other stuff going on. Um, you know, within their things. If you look through the, their investor, they are working on another battery version. And, um, you know, that investor portfolio is really helpful because it gives you a lot of insight. They are working on like an IQ system controller. That's an IQ combiner box and a sub panel all in one. They're working on a lot of different things and they're spending a lot of time in research and development and on software. Oops, excuse me. Um, sorry. Uh, they, but they're, they're working on a lot of stuff to really make sure that you get a product that's future proof at the end of the day, you know, and you're going to, you're going to want to have an installer that's going to be there. So you give them a call and it's like, Hey, saw this announcement from Enphase. I'm ready to take it to the next level. I want to add more panels or I want to add more batteries. I want to add that EV clipper technology so I can use my car for backup. 
you need that type of installer that's there that's fully certified that stays on top of this stuff not all the companies do that we recently had a project this is a one-off so this customer he bought a battery backup system and he didn't have a solar system with it so he just bought the backup system really cool now he took that and over the course of the next two or three years that product worked pretty well it was just an end phase battery system and he ultimately I eventually added the solar and he didn't contract back with the company that did the batteries. He had a poor experience during that process. Instead, he found us on YouTube, saw some of our work and he decided to have us do the solar. We installed the system in one day. Uh, we had to fix some of the battery stuff to make his system work. So it was, it was kind of unique in that sense, but um, you know, you, you want to be able to go with a company that you can continue to add on. But I think I've rambled on enough about this particular project. I kind of wanted to just do a walkthrough of an end phase system. So you got to see all the, you know, stuff that gets installed on the project and how it ultimately looks at the end of the day. Um, be sure to check out our Instagram page. I did post a really cool aerial of this array so you can get a full view of how it was fully installed and what it all looks like. And of course, if you're someone that lives in our area of Southern California and you're interested in going solar, please visit us, visit us online, you know, get your hassle-free quote. We really do make it easy and very affordable for you to make the switch to get a premium solar system like the one here. Well, that's it for this. Thanks again, everybody. You have a great day.